Uh, this guy is called the Standing Streamer. <laughs> Wrestling with regret, and you're watching putting you over. We're gonna have Aaron Jones on here next, top of the hour, a little after 10. Thank you very much, D Rod. Uh, we can all relax, get ourselves a nice beverage. And, uh, you know, kick it back and uh, get ready to do it again with another independent wrestler, Aaron Jones, here coming up. Mr. Emerald himself. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Let's get him on. Here we go. Buckle up. All right, can you hear me, Mr. James? Oh, why, why can't, why, why, why can't I hear him? I can see him. Why can't I hear him? All right, uh, hold on a sec. Well, you know, if I unmute him, actually. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Oh, well, it, it's because I had my, myself muted as oh. usual. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I can take full blame. I can take full blame. Well, hold on. Watch. I'll show you how I do it. Oh, man. I didn't have that button hit. Oh. Aaron? Aaron? Yes, sir. Exactly. See? See how that worked? I hit my button. <laughs> how you doing tonight, sir? Hey, you know, man, I'm, I'm busier than a uh, one-legged stripper right now. No, oh, you wait. Let me let me think. <laughs> Hold on. Let me think of that. Busier than a one-legged stripper. It, it it makes sense if you don't think about it, dude. Okay. <laughs> it, it does. I I said <laughs> it does. You're right. Oh God. I said to uh, we had Matt Vertigo on earlier, <laughs> right before you. And I apologize at the start because um, I have three daughters and I, I work in the school system and uh, I have a wife and, and all this fun jazz uh, that, that that's great. That's really great and rewarding in life. But as far as uh, putting on a <laughs> putting on a uh, wrestling variety slash interview show uh, is challenging. And I, I was not able to do my uh, great preparation that I've been known for. And uh, so bear with me. We're going to go through this. We're going to treach through this waters together. <laughs> but that's okay. It's, it's okay, man. It's we okay. We like to call it in the ring down here. <laughs> What's that? So we like to call it in the ring down here. Never planned anything yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
I agree with that. Now, um, you, for example, were suggested to me by, um, so I, I, uh, I write and I, I cover it. I cover a lot of wrestling, different aspects for wrestling news And, uh, one of the people high up higher above me, uh, his name's Steven. And, uh, he suggested, he suggested you to me. He's like, he's like, forget that. He's like, here, uh, you, you should get this guy on your show. And I was like, okay. So I'm like Aaron, Uh Aaron, Mr. Emerald, Aaron James. So then I wait a couple uh, days. That's pretty cool. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm like, okay, all right. So then I, I contact you and, you know, let you know, and, and here you are and, and whatnot. But as far as wrestling goes, um, where would you say did you first realize that your love for wrestling was something you wanted to do and pursue? Man, the and I always tell the story. Um, you know, every every when people ask me, and when I was like 20, 20 years old, and I grew up down here in the south, so we always went. Uh, to the Houston County Farm Center every Saturday for Continental Wrestling with um, in Southeastern with Fuller's Juan Fuller, uh, Robert Fuller, and you know so that was always kind of there. But 20 years old, I got a friend of mine and he wants to go be a pro wrestler, but he doesn't want to go do anything by himself. And so he asked me if I wanted to go with him. Um, I was like, sure, you know, thinking he wouldn't do it. Uh, we go up to Dothan, Alabama find this guy, uh, our first coach, Will Pritchard, and, you know, we start training, doing the bumps, the basics, and Will looks at me first day, tells me I suck, and I'm never going to uh, make it in this sport, in this business, uh, which if anybody ever met me knows that uh, if you tell me I can't do something, um, I will drive the lawnmower off in the pond to uh, make the point, and <laughs> Um, I got into it, and the more I trained, more I learned from all these veterans that are down here. Um, man, I just I just grew a love for this business and the sport. That's probably probably foremost, uh, you know, aside from my girlfriend and my dog. Um, you know, probably like my third love. What What's that like, though? You're like you're training, you're you're doing something you love, and they they come to you and, and say you suck. Like like, what is that feeling like? Like, crappy, right? Then it, you know, it, it, it sucks. Um, you know, it hits your ego. Um, and, I, and I think I probably got one of the biggest egos um, that I know. Um, but be, just because of that, um, it makes me train harder. It makes me go out to prove people wrong. Um, you know, when I play music, uh, one of my best friends uh, tells me I suck when I play music, which makes me go out and practice you know, stupid base scales way more than I should just to, just to prove a point. So for me, um, you know, it just, it just puts fuel to the fire. What do you play musically? Um, I hold the bass very, very well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I play guitar, yeah. drums, piano. Oh, very, very nice. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, music wrestling, those are, those are kind of my two passions. Um, I, you know, obviously chose wrestling um, more than more than music. Um, you know, there, there's a little bit more control there. Um, as you being a musician, you know, when you play with other musicians, man, it gets squirrely really, really fast. <laughs> yeah, yes, it does. Oh man, I just had a flashback to like college days, uh, college band. Ultimate Discharge is what we were called, the greatest band name Ooh. ever that never made it. But, uh, <laughs> I'll like it. Ult- ultimate oh, discharge. Ultimate so discharge. Mean. You could use that. Um, I might do that. I might borrow. I'll give you credit. <laughs> <laughs> right? It was a good name. It was a great, great name. name. That's a great name for a punk band. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> ultimate discharge. I loved it. But it, yeah. we just never took off. We just never took off. Uh, we and But we could talk about my college career all day. Um, but we're not going to on this show because it's about you. And, uh, <laughs> so yeah, exactly. Right. We're putting you over. We're not putting me over. Nobody wants to put me over. Well, this next week we'll put you over and I'll ask all the questions. We, yeah. Next time, next time you want to, you, you can interview me. You, you want, no one's ever done that. 
I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> um, maybe we can do that at the end of the show because I would I would like to get your name out there uh, as a uh, phenomenon as a uh, wrestling performer. <laughs> so, so you you start training. This is this is what you want to do. Nobody's gonna put you down. Is is what I take from that. Um. Mm-hmm. What, uh, what, so you're, you're in the ring for the first time, your first quote unquote, uh, professional match. Let's say your first quote unquote professional match. However you want to take that. Uh, what that, what is that feeling like to you? Uh, you know, um, even though it was, you know, a very greenhorn match, uh, very paint by the numbers. Um, for me, once I got into that ring and, um, you know, what the promoter did, uh, you know, once I, you know, went out and started busting my ass training, um, you know, you saw a little something there. There were some guys uh, from Pensacola that were, you know, kind of coming through the town and, and saw me. And I just, man, I got in the ring and that music hit and the lights are going and you know, these kids are yelling at me and they're booing me because first match and I'm already a hill. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And we hadn't even really established what our roles were going into the match. We were just going to go out and do it. And, and it just it felt like home. And, you know, that's something I probably should have done when I was 16 instead of waiting until I was 20, 21. Yeah. Um, that, that first match, w- were there defined roles? Was somebody supposed to be the heel in the face? Um, there wasn't really any defined roles. Um, it was me and my buddy, uh, you know, started training with, um, we had match, you know, moves worked out, just very basic stuff. Um, just kind of, um, you know, what we wanted to do and we were getting a little lost, um, here and there. And I just kind of, um, from listening, you know, for about eight months of training, these old guys talking about calling the ring and feeling, reading the crowd. And I just kind of started healing. Um, you know, did an eye poke, uh, you know, did a basic, you know, choke and some kicks and yeah. started taunting the crowd. And, um, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, we all do it, you know, coming up, you know, you kind of borrow somebody's gimmick. Uh, oh, yeah. Party boys were big. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the, time, the clock. Um, I just went and completely stole their gimmick. Um, <laughs> so I had a kid just giving me all kinds of grief about not being a hardy boy, whatever. And, um, you know, I was just, you know, hit that kid the whole time and had the entire building just in the palm of my hands hating me. And it was, it was so great. <laughs> oh my God. It makes me smile. I love that. I love that. Heels are the best. First of all, heels are way better than face. Everybody knows that. Um, but so that, so gr- growing up was it was wrestling big in your family growing up as a kid. Oh man. Um, Southern, you know, Panhandle, Florida, um, was like, I like yeah. to call it LA, lower Alabama. Yeah. Um, farming town, man, it's so big with these people here. Uh, my grandmother, um, gosh, she's almost 90 now. Um, and she still yells at the TV. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, she will, um, hated this referee. Uh, he's a local guy up in Dothan by the name of Larry Brock for a continental Southeastern. And she would yell at him. She'd see him like in public and yell <laughs> at him for being a no down <laughs> referee. Um, one of my first times, uh, and I, you know, got busted open hard way. Uh, it's probably my third match, and literally, my grandmother looks at me and, and tells me I deserved it because that's, that's awesome. what I got for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, awesome. Oh um, man! Yeah, we, we would. Um, We'd watch wrestling, you know, come on 5.30 on yeah. local TV. Um, we'd drive about 30, 40 minutes up the road to uh, Dothan, Alabama, Farm Center, and, um, you know, watch those guys tear it up. And, um, you know, it, it was just kind of a mainstay in, in the household. That's awesome. Listening to that diatribe, uh, well, diatribe might be a negative term, but listening to, to you uh, talk about your, your grandmother there is just phenomenal phenomenal congratulations is she i mean mine as well uh has a love for wrestling and uh i can just when you when you said that what what she said uh you deserved it i could hear my grandmother as well say the same thing uh and mine uh gosh mine's 
my grandma was probably about 92 about yeah about 90 as well so much love to her and much love to yours too for yeah yeah all, yeah, all of that right oh yeah yeah phenomenal phenomenal lady 530 though many and you know those, those older yeah. older people yeah. um don't come in the house don't say anything nope. if it's wrestling for 30 minutes and, um <laughs> You know, God forbid you you start to kill for the heel or cheer for the heel. <laughs> You're getting wrote out of the inheritance. Yeah, right. We were written right out. Big uh big uh Crimson Tide fans down there, right? Uh yeah, yeah. You know, we got the Crimson Tide, the Alabama fans, Auburn fans, um, Florida State, uh you know, Seminoles. Um, unfortunately we have Gator fans too. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, or my alma mater, University of West Florida, um, you know, state champs this year. Um, so the only ones that were able to bring it home. Oh, but that's football. We're not talking about football tonight. We're talking about wrestling. Oh, no. no. Uh, real real <laughs> stuff, not football. Real yeah, stuff. Yeah, real sports. Real. Yeah. Real sports. Yeah. None of that, that foosball. Yeah, nobody wants foosball. Although I am a great foosball player. Just got to throw that out there. If anyone wants to challenge me. Uh, I have beaten my daughters tremendously and every time at foosball. But anyways, <laughs> um, favorite wrestler growing up, man. Um, I'm I mean, just going to, you know, as a kid, uh, I'm trying to think back um, and, you know, definitely dating myself a little bit here, probably Austin Idol. Um, you know, growing up guy was larger than life. Um, you know, just when he was out there, when he came to the territory, um, you know, you knew he, you knew he was there. He made he made a presence. Um, and of course, the Armstrongs and all of those guys, Mr. Bob, uh, Bullet Bob Armstrong, um, Brad, Steve, Scott, um, you know, those guys were always always favorites of mine. Yeah, uh, no, I mean, I mean, you you are dating yourself for I guess <laughs> I guess it depends on who's bit. I guess it depends on who's here to watch it, but. But Austin Idol, man, and, and all those people you mentioned, we're right on the same page. Uh, why don't you describe uh, your character, your wrestler, uh, for people that might not know you? Like, 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 how would you describe it? What's your what's your style? What's your this and that? You know what I mean? Man, uh, you know, trying to de develop that over the last twenty years of. You know, just being a goofy surfer um, to trying to be more of a technical wrestler. And I just kind of came into my own of just kind of channeling those old school guys, Austin Idol, the Dusty Rose, the Harley races of, um, you know, coming out for a fight. Um, you know, um, they're to entertain, you know, definitely there to perform. I don't do dives and flips because you know, I'm a big guy, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, and I'm just not talented enough to do that. Um, but, you know, definitely that showmanship and that flair, um, you know, I call myself Mr. Emerald Coast, Aaron James, because um, I'm on the Emerald Coast of, of Florida, um, you know, out of everybody that I trained with and started with, um, I'm probably one of the last guys that's still down here working and, you know, um, like it or not, this is, this is my area, this is my home, my town, and yep. um, whether the fans like me or, or hate me, um, I'm, I'm representing them. Um, so I think that's uh, kind of the simplest way I can kind of just describe it of, um, you know, just if you think of a classic wrestler, you know, that 70s and 80s, you know, visual, that's that's what I'm trying to present. And uh, I was doing a little bit of research on you, and based on what you said, uh, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw your stuff, and now it, it, it's solidified by based on what you've said here tonight, was um, I could definitely see you in the NWA, like your character and the way you wrestle just fits. Like, like you could be uh, Trevor Murdoch's tag team partner for the champions, for the uh, you know the belt. Like you just fit in the NWA so well to me. Um, do you keep up with the the current product? Um, yeah, and, and that's a hint, hint to NWA guys, because um, you know, I'm only six hours from Atlanta. It's there you nice go. Drive. I can make it. In, I can make it in four. So. That's, that's right. <laughs> um, 
But when, no, um, when... I keep up with NWA Power. Um, I watch them. I like to see what they're doing. Um, you know, definitely. And, and I love that format. I love that old studio format. Yeah. Um, for me, that feels like home. Um, if I'm going to finish out my career, you know, um, over the you know, next few years, like that's where I would like to, uh, to fit it, you know, to, to finish it out for sure. Yeah, I mean, they and I, 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 I'm so high on them, and then I, I feel so bad for them at the same time because they were, they were making such strides, and and they're still making strides. Don't get me wrong. Um, and then this, uh, you know, pandemic hit, and the way they, you know, do their business, which is is studio wrestling, so. They'll 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 tape a, you know four episodes, and they couldn't they couldn't do that. So now they got to take a step back and, and take a look at what they're doing. It, it it makes me feel bad, but I do have the faith in what they're doing. So I don't know. It's it, it's tough. This whole pandemic pandemic thing is extremely tough, especially for the independent wrestler. And even even the you know the the smaller promotions, Re- wrestling in general, it's hurting. But uh, how how has it affected you personally? Um, you know, on, on a wrestling level, um, you know, as we were going into February, I think I worked ten dates um, yeah. in the entire month of, of February, which for this area and um, you know, with also being a, a teacher, so we can't get out and do as much as I want during school year. What do you teach? Um, um, I pretend to teach science. You pretend to teach <laughs> science. I um, to, to middle school. I work in the school system as well. Uh, I'm a behavioral specialist for children with autism, so nice. it's uh, it's really tough. And this time is extremely tough because. Not only am I working – well, I mean we could get on this. All. Not only am I working on their academics but trying to, to do things in behavior and we can't be in the same room and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, go go ahead. We could, we could talk about education a whole <laughs> – Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll definitely talk offline about, about, about uh, academics and behavior. So yeah. that's, my, uh, that's, my, that's my other secondary passion. Yeah, so, um, our shoot jobs. Yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah, um, you know, so February ten dates, uh, knocked that out of the park. Um, March, I think the last event was March fourteenth. Uh, very small crowd, yep. and you know everything shut shut down. Um, you know, right around St. Patrick's Day here in Florida, which sucked. Um, you know, because I donated blood that day on St. Patrick's Day, so I had a, a very good plan, and you know they were like, hey, you know, we're closing the bars, so it just killed my entire Trump plan. Um, <laughs> But, um, you know, now we're just kind of in a holding pattern, um, you know, until things kind of kind of open up. Um, so it's now just trying to sell a few T-shirts, um, been able to really focus on redeveloping the gimmick, uh, shooting videos, shooting pictures. Uh, my girlfriend is an awesome photographer and photojournalist, so, um, so I've got a lot of, uh, you know, good pictures that, you know, I can put out on the merch table to, you know, hopefully sell. Um, you know, now we're just, we're just waiting, um, yeah. until promoter, promoters get back and say, Hey, come to work. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, and you know, get the pictures and, and we, we were talking to, I talked to Zicky Dice a long time ago from NWA and, uh, Richard Holiday from MLW and, uh, it, it's that social media presence. It's that finding a way to keep your name, I guess, relevant is what I'm trying to say, or out there. Get your name out there in this time, uh, especially for wrestlers. You know, I know uh, RJ City does a great job. Dan Housen does a great job. It's just, it, it's difficult. I, I cannot even imagine, like, what I would do. If 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 that if I was in your shoes, I I just can't imagine. Yeah, it, it's a uh, it's definitely the the social medias, uh, you know, trying to really get a following, um, having substantial things to say, 
uh, videos, you know, um, and, and getting people behind you. Um, but then once you steamroll and people start yep. following you, it, 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 it avalanches out. Um, and I just recently got into the Twitter game because uh, I stayed away from it for so long, uh, much yeah. to my own detriment. And um, finding out that Twitter um, and Instagram are really the two places to go to put yourself over, um, you know, as far as a wrestler, musician, performer, whatever you're doing, yeah. that's the two. Facebook's good to have some jokes and get some yeah. stupid memes here and there, but the tweets and the Instas are, you know, so for all you young guys out there, you know, hit, hit up those two social media presences. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. I go to I go to Facebook when my when my mom and my uh, 90 year old grandmother want pictures of my children. That's where I go to. That's why I go to Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. So what what I normally do uh at the end, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You might have been here for the Matt Vertigo interview or not, and you might be like, "Oh man, geez, K Dog is just repeating himself." But uh, what I normally do at the end of of any show or of any time I have with anyone is uh, I want to give the mic to you. So this is uh, your time to shine. It's <laughs> it, it's your time to put yourself over to plug anything you want. I don't I don't care what it is. I'm not I'm not gonna interrupt. Hopefully I'm not <laughs> gonna interrupt. Uh, plug anything you want. Let us know where to find you. Uh, where, uh, how to support you? All this fun and awesome stuff. The mic is yours, my dear friend. All right. Well, um, if you guys want to follow me on the Twitter, um, you know it's Aaron underscore James seventy seven. Um, that's their Twitter Twitter handle. Uh, the Instagram is uh, the Golden or the Psychotic Unicorn, I believe. That's still or no, actually, I changed it up to Mr. Emerald Coast. So you can find me on Instagram, Mr. Emerald Coast. Um. Facebook, if you're doing the Facebook, Aaron James, always, that's there. Um, if, um, and once the, you know, the beach is back open, we start doing some more zany, kind of crazy stuff. If you want to follow me on, on Snapchat, it is the Golden Idol, um, Ooh, which like is a, a great story. If you happen to want to ask me about that there, um, <laughs> and that name. Um, and of course, if you want to buy a T-shirt, um, my T-shirt is because I'm going against the grain. I'm over at uh, tpublic.com, and just type in Mr. Emerald Coast. Have some great T-shirt designs, and adding more um, as time goes on. Um, and that's you know pretty much my social media is. Um, you know, if you're in the uh, southeast area, um, you can always look up Victory Championship Wrestling. Uh, that's my home promotion um, up in the Mumford, Alabama area. Um, and then Coastal Wrestling Federation, Combat uh, Pro Sports, um, down here in the uh, Florida Panhandle, two of the better promotions that are that are running. Um, so you know, if you guys that come down on vacation, you know, zip on down and, and catch your wrestling show. Awesome. Uh, all right, I'll bite. Golden Idol. <laughs> I'll bite. Uh, so years ago, uh, it's, a, it's kind of a rib, I think, on me. Um, when I worked for the Pensacola Wrestling Alliance, um, Austin Idol at the time lived in Pensacola. That was his home. And the promotion had this idea that they were going to um, make me Austin Idol's son. And so, <laughs> oh, and, that's and, and great. It the time because, you know, I had the long blonde hair, yeah, all yeah. tan. And, and he was down with it from what I've been told, just uh, – the money wasn't right or something like that. So, you know, they tell me I'm just, you know, like a 22 year old kid marking out like, Holy cool. Get to work with Austin Idol. Yeah. And um, whatever happened, it didn't go through, but they never tell me that it's not through. <laughs> and um, so I go in, you know, we do the whole promo end up being going from Aaron blaze, which is just cheesy little name. I started with to Aaron Idol. Yeah. And didn't really have a moniker, and I'm like, how does this even work? And a friend of mine was like, why don't you be like Aaron the Golden Idol? And I'm like, yeah, I can dig that. And so as we're, you know, anytime we cut up promos, you know, it's like it's all golden, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and it just it just kind of stuck. So even now, uh, the guys that, that came up with me and know me, um, they will still they'll still call me Idol, um, even though there's much better guys out there doing the, the gimmick than I ever did. But uh, but yeah, yeah, that's how it got. It was be started was 
you know, supposedly an angle with Austin Idol that, that never took place. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And if the NWA ever catches a rift of this, just throw him in. Just throw him into one of those commercials. Throw Aaron, Aaron Idol in in one of those commercials on the NWA with Austin Idol. Like in the background. I don't I don't care. Just throw him in the background, like like doing something and build him in right. that way. Right? Exactly. Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Dad. Yeah, why Dad, why are those cameras here? <laughs> Dad, dinner is ready. Oh, we got your stofers ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God! All right, Aaron James, we, we could. I just, I just popped on my my microphone. We we could definitely talk all night, but but what I what I like to do is I I'm gonna let you go tonight. We'll definitely uh, have you on in the future for sure. Uh, it was a great time. Any any final words before I let you go? Hey, um, you know, the uh, support indie wrestling, always, always support indie wrestling. Um, that's interesting. And, uh, you know, right now, you know, to take care of each other, um, you know, because it's uh, a little strange, a little turbulent out there. But, you know, we're going to get through this. We're going to see you guys at the show very, very soon. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys uh, cheer me on and don't you know, throw stuff at me because, you know, awesome stay safe stay strong and stay sane my friend all right my dude thank you for having me i appreciate it yeah no problem anytime anytime we'll do it again for sure have a great night oh ow all right hopefully uh i don't have to walk around and Hit the cancel button. <laughs> All right. You're good. Look at that. Look at that great hat. <laughs> yeah, I stole it from my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, oh, give her, tell her thank you tonight, too, for allowing us to talk to you uh, for this amount of time. And uh, now yeah, goes. I think she blew you a kiss. <laughs> oh, did she? Look at that. Yeah. Now uh, so, go spend your time with her. Watch, uh, I don't know, watch something. What's what's cool on Netflix right now? Something. I don't know. I, I get her watching all the Marvel movies. So we're. Oh, you know, we had a question. We had now. a question earlier. What's your, so? What's your favorite Marvel movie? Uh, mine is Thor. Oh, you know, you see, know, that's deep down in the genetics. Hers is hers is Captain America. Captain America. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. I do like Thor though. My my youngest child likes Thor a lot. Um all right. <laughs> hey, we'll talk Marvel next time. Uh all right, man. later, man. Thank you. All right, thank you, Bob. Yeah. Let's raise the stakes, change the pace. Everybody thinks they perfect, but we make mistakes. My only goal is become a one of the all-time greats. And after all, this is a marathon. It's not a race, right? Cough and drop off the top of the stage. Darby Allen's a madman, he can't be caged. And as a matter of fact, I'm ready for that spot. Casino ladder match, who will hit the jackpot? Won't be surprised if it's Scorpio Sky. Double or nothing where the stories collide. We taking over like Brody Lee in the Dark Order. You ain't a god, my friend. Your arms are far shorter. This is the pay-per-view. It ain't the same thing. You're not a threat now, cause you got a name change. You gotta prove your worth just like we all did. We've been taking over the world since all in. Start the productions, double or nothing. Coming to you straight from Florida with no interruptions. We ain't trying to waste too much time on our introductions. Just get ready for some wrestling and utter destruction. Start the productions, double or nothing Coming to you straight from Florida with no interruptions We ain't trying to waste too much time on our introductions Just get ready for some wrestling and utter destruction For the record though, it's bound to be a spectacle Was never skeptical, cause that's what I expected, yo Elite versus the inner circle, is going down I'm looking forward to that stampede showdown No doubt, man, we in different modes now It's kill or be killed and we ain't about to slow down 
high stakes. The TNT title is up for takes. Cody versus the murder hawk with Jake the Snake. And when that dust clears, there won't be no debate. Just Tyson handing the title to Jake's protege. MJF probably losing in an upset. Nonetheless, Jungle Boys ready for some success. The Dark Order is full of steam, they taking off. The world title is up for grabs, they facing off. Watch me become the champion like Moxley. Hope he's not cocky, cause he'll get stopped, B. Start the productions, double or nothing. Coming to you straight from Florida with no interruptions. We ain't trying to waste too much time on our introductions. Just get ready for some wrestling and utter destruction. Start the productions, double or nothing. Coming to you straight from Florida with no interruptions. We ain't trying to waste too much time on our introductions. Just get ready for some wrestling and utter destruction.